Hi! We've got two things to look at today. Both of these belong to my 13 year old son. Um, we've got an Xbox uh, controller here where the uh, RB button has decided to work intermittently. And also, he's uh, managed to break his uh, phone yet again. Um, as we can see, the uh, screen is a little bit worse for wear. I don't even think the uh, the touch works at all, but anyway. So, I think the first thing we'll do is uh, have a look at this. Alright, let's get this uh, controller out of the way. Now, I don't particularly like working on phones. Which is uh, why I don't often do them, but let's uh, have a look. Right, there's a small pentalobe screws at the bottom here, and there's two of those that we need to remove. And these things are absolutely tiny. And then we need to remove the screen, which apparently opens that way up. I've got one of these little suction cup things here, which isn't particularly good, but uh, we shall try and give it a go. Yeah, it's not uh, sticking at all. Well, that's the first thing. Right, let's see if uh, we can get something down the side, because if we break it, it's uh, already broke. I do have a little bit of a gap there. Let's see if we can get one of these uh, plectrum type things in. Right, there we go. We've got bits flying off everywhere. Yeah, perhaps I should have heated this up a little bit with some. Uh, Tease of, uh, sorry, with a hair dryer or something, but uh, I think we've managed. Right, we're into it. I think I've already been into this once uh, a while back and we changed the uh, battery on it. I think the first thing that we'll have to do is remove uh, this plate here. I'll tell you what, I'll zoom down a bit. These things are microscopic. Right, let's find my tweezers and we'll try removing this bit of plate. And I think that's removed the uh, battery connector. Right, so that's the uh, battery disconnected, which is what we wanted. Let's see if we can start removing this display. Right, that's the first bit done. And we need to swap over this uh, uh, button, which is... Uh, just here across the bottom we need to swap that over and at the top here there's a speaker and a camera and a few other things to swap over as well so i'm going to remove this button here which is uh, held on with uh, four tri-wing screws and again these things are tiny that's why i don't like working on phones they're just too fiddly. Right, that's uh, that removed. <laughs> So this is the uh, new screen that I purchased, uh, it was only £12 off eBay, it's uh, obviously not a genuine uh, Apple screen. 
So what I'm going to do is put this sensor or home button in first. So then I've got less screws in there. We don't get mixed up with what screws and brackets and such go away. That's the, uh, my thoughts on it anyway. Checking whether that uh, plug had to go on first, and it does. I think that's plugged in. And these screws are that tiny to pick, even pick up. It's almost like a uh, watchmaker's type of thing. This putting these on. Right, so that's the uh, touch sensor fitted to the new screen. So now we need to remove the uh, other parts from the old screen and transfer them over as well. There's quite a bit of glare comes off this screen when it's uh, touching the light. But I think there's about six screws need to come out uh, over there. I'm going to put something under there so it's uh, got less glare. Let's try that. That's a bit better. Just so you aren't getting blinded. Is that the right? No, that's the tri wing one. There's my little Phillips. It's here. I'm trying to position these screws in some sort of order so I know where, where they actually go. Because they're all different lengths. Right, what comes off now? That's the camera, obviously. That's the speaker. It looks like these contacts have got to come out as well. Right, I think I need to get a bit closer look at this. Right, I managed to slowly pick away at everything and uh, managed to get this lot out. But I think I might disconnect it from uh, the circuit board here because uh, I think it's going to be a nightmare to try and put it back together. And I think I've knocked my screws all over the place. Hopefully they're in some kind of uh, order. Side a sec. And it looks like we've got to remove this uh, bit of uh, plastic here, I'd say. It's probably got some adhesive under it. Yep. Yeah. Right, I just need to double check that there's nothing else to swap over on here. I think that looks fine. And the first thing they were was this little sort of light sensor thing here. Which kind of went into that hole, but uh, I think I'll try and zoom down a bit. Right, there was the uh, yeah, it's not easy this. That's why I don't like working on them. Right, hopefully that glues it in place for now. And then we can get to putting the other bits back in. Right, like that. 
and up it went in. And then that went over the top. I'm just not convinced that this bit's sitting properly. That feels better. Right. Just realised I'm not even in shot. Well, that took a bit doing. <coughs> right, so let's uh, start connecting the screen back up then. So well, we're getting there slowly. Right. Now were these ones tri wing or were they the normal ones? Because I can't remember. I need to have a look. Yeah, they were tri wing. Yeah, you've got to admire these people who work in phone shops. It's like, phew, I think I'd be too stressed with it all. Phew, right. Let's just see if it actually comes on first. Yeah, it looks promising. Right, let's see if we can uh, get it back together. I don't know what I've done there. Right, well, hopefully uh, you can uh, use it now, so... Right. On to the next job, then. Right, on to the next thing, then. And it's the uh, RB, or the right uh, shoulder button here, uh, is working intermittently on this, so let's uh, take it apart. I bought some buttons already, which I've just got here, so uh, it should just be a matter of swapping that over and uh, hopefully that should uh, fix the problem. Right, that's one side off. And there's the other side. And I think these are T8s, if I remember, the uh, with the uh, hole in the middle. Let's put those screws to one side. Uh, 
Right, so the button we need to change is, I'll just zoom down a bit, is actually there. I don't know if we can get to it without uh, taking it all apart. Yeah, I think we can. So it looks like it's uh, those contacts here. Right, I might try some uh, low melt solder on this. So I'm just going to uh, pull the joysticks off for now so it sits a bit flatter. So it's a bit easier to work on. And I'm going to get my low melt solder. Switch the iron on. And I'm just going to put some uh, low melt solder on this just to uh, help it come off more easily. I'm just going to put a bit of flux on there as well. Just to help it flow and mix a bit better. tweezers now or oh, even wire cutters I wonder if I can just grab a hold of one of these legs and then just heat it up at the back here and it's out Right, I just need to do a little bit of clean up here because there's a bit of a blob of solder there. I'm just going to use some uh, solder wick just to uh, clean this uh, area up. Right, I think that'll do for that. Right, I've got the uh, new button there. And there's the old one. This was supposed to be a genuine Alps one. I just want to check the uh, the logos on them there, just to see if they're the same. Hard to tell. Let's see if we can get this to go in. I think one of those holes are still slightly blocked. That's it. This top one here. Tell you what, I'm just going to put a little bit more solder on and then just mop it off with the uh, solder iron. And just mop it off with a bit of solder wick. That's right there. Check that hole's clear. Yep. That's uh, in properly. So it should just be a matter of soldering that back up. And I'm just going to give the area a little bit of a clean up with some uh, isopropyl alcohol.
Right, and there we go. Alright, just uh, reassemble it and hopefully that should uh, be that job fixed as well. Right, I'm just going to uh, get the laptop and we'll plug it in and we'll just uh, check that the buttons are working. Right, so I've got it uh, hooked up to the uh, laptop and we'll just try the uh, joysticks and the buttons make sure everything's working okay. So, E, X, B, Y, right and left triggers, right bumper, left bumper. Yeah, so those are working now. And to start menu button things. Looks like it might have a very slight bit of stick drift on the uh, left hand stick. I mean this uh, this used to be my son-in-laws and then uh, he gave it to be son so it's a few years old it's actually lasted better than the uh, the new xbox series uh, x or whatever control pads that uh, i've fixed a few of those it's actually uh, these joysticks seem a lot better quality than the uh, the current ones i'd say because the current ones seem to have uh, loads of problems with their uh, stick drift right I think that's it then. Two little fixes. Uh, so my son will be well happy. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.